Hi, I'm Christy Nye, y'all, a registered nurse and mindset coach. And my goal here with these videos is to help you live more intentionally with your personal life, work, and well-being with intentional action. Right now, I'm doing a series on proven um, techniques to help with your anxiety. And one of the techniques I discussed in there is EFT, or emotional freedom tapping. With emotional freedom tapping, it's based on acupressure points that you're tapping on the upper body. And as you're tapping through the different points, it's releasing the tension. And it's allowing you to say stuff that's bothering you. And you want to say stuff that's bothering you in depth. And you want to be complete about it. Like really talk about everything that's making you anxious or overwhelmed or fearful about the event or whatever it is you're tapping on. There is a potential trigger warning here. EFT goes into detail about specific circumstances that you're concerned about. This one talks about the potential of dying as a fear. It's not graphic, but it does mention it as a fear of it happening. If this is something that's going to trigger you, you may want to skip this one. In order to really release everything that you're holding on to. The nice thing about freedom tapping is, you know, you say... I love and accept myself in the opening statement, and I'm going to go through um, all the different tapping points and walk you through a guided emotional freedom tapping in case this sounds confusing at all. But you start at the karate chop point and say, you know, even though I'm really anxious, I love and accept myself. And you'll stay here for a minute saying different setup statements to get you prepared into the things that bother you. And then once you're done with your setup statement, you'll go through the different areas. So you start with all the things that bother you. And then towards the end, you're going to flip the script from like the negative things that are bothering you. And you're going to talk about how, you know, your free positive things about you overcoming this. So you want to be positive about how you're overcoming this. And you're going to end on a positive note. At the end, you will evaluate how you feel, and then if you still feel anxious, you go through the tapping again. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through one that I designed specifically for the times that we're living in right now. Um, we're living in tumultuous times. Things are constantly changing. It seems like bad news is constantly popping up. And I wanted to create something that is specifically for this really odd time in our history. And I hope that you find this helpful. So what you're going to do is you're just going to get in a comfortable position. I'm going to walk you through the different points and then walk you through the specific um, emotional freedom tapping. So freedom tapping, the different points are your karate chop point or the side of your hand. You just tap just like this. Then there's the side of the eye. Under the eye under the nose, under the chin, collarbone, under the arm, and head. So you'll first start off with the karate chop point and you'll say your setup statement. After you say your setup statement, you're going to go through and basically talk about the things that are bothering you with you know, what you're talking about. So we're going to do anxiety and the world is a scary place. We're going to go from there. Um, so you're just going to repeat after me and follow what I do. And hopefully this will be successful for you. I do want to say before you start, you want to have um, a statement and a baseline. So you're going to say, okay, on a scale of one to 10, I feel anxious. So on a scale of one to 10, I'm at a nine. For feeling really anxious about what's going on in the world. I'm going to start at our karate chop point and you're just going to repeat after me for this whole thing. Even though I'm anxious and I feel like the world is falling apart, I love and accept myself. Even though everything feels chaotic and out of control, I love and accept myself. Even though I watch the news and it makes my anxiety worse, I love and accept myself. Side of the eye. 
all this anxiety or moving on keeps me up at night under the nose all of this anxiety under the chin makes me feel for, for my well-being collarbone and for my family's well-being under the arm. I'm getting decision fatigue. Top of the head. I'm tired of deciding what the right thing to do is. Side of the eye. All this anxiety. Makes me feel on edge. It makes me feel like I can shoot lightning out of my fingertips. And other times I want to hide. I want to run. I'm bombarded with bad news. At times I'm so scared. I worry so much that I feel sick. I worry that I worry too much. There's so much happening, it's hard not to feel these feelings. The more I read about bad news, the more I have to check. It becomes habitual. It's like I'm waiting for more bad news. It brings me to a negative space. All this sickness, it deeply scares me. It makes me face my own mortality. And I go down a rabbit hole of what ifs. What if I get sick? What if it becomes severe and I have to be hospitalized? What will happen to my family? With all of this sickness, what if something happens to my family? Or my other loved ones? What if I die? What if I die? All these thoughts, they scare me. And they put me on edge. And it's not just that. Everything changes daily. And it's hard to know whose advice to listen to. Everyone has an opinion. Everyone has advice, and I'm conflicted. What's the right thing? What's the right thing? Everything feels divisive. And people constantly arguing. There's a shortage of workers. There's a shortage of food. There's a shortage of healthcare workers. All these things make me want to cry. And sometimes I do. And that's okay. I can't listen to this negativity anymore. It's eating me up inside. I am so worried about what's going to happen next. I am so worried what the next catastrophe is going to be. My anxiety is controlling me. My fear is overwhelming. But worrying is wasted energy. It won't change any outcome. 
it won't improve anything. It will only make me sick. Anxiety will keep me from doing the things I love. Anxiety will keep me from the nourishing sleep I need. It will come between my relationships. I'm changing that today. I'm letting go of my anxiety. I visualize it flying away in the wind. I'm letting go of my fear. It too floats away in the wind. I'm releasing my overwhelm. It soars away with my anxiety. I'm choosing myself and my mental health. I'm choosing to relax. I'm allowing myself to relax. Today, I'm releasing my anxiety. I'm releasing the fear. I'm releasing the overwhelm. When the overwhelm begins, I take a deep breath through my nose, filling my belly, up into my shoulders and hold, and then I slowly release my breath through my mouth. And as I continue this over and over, my body becomes lighter until the anxiety, fear, and overwhelm melt away. I am in control. I am in control. I am safe. I am relaxed. I am hopeful. I am calm. I am. Now take a deep breath in through your nose and slowly exhale through your mouth. Note where your anxiety is on a scale of 1 to 10. If it's still high, go through the tapping again. I do have a meditation for anxiety and really getting into your body if you want to check that out. I also have a video on four proven techniques to help you with anxiety. So if you want to check that out, I would greatly appreciate it. If it's something you're interested in, please comment below if this has helped you at all, if you've done EFT before, or if this is something new. And with all that being said, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if this is something that you enjoy. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.